Change. Change. This will be an outline and a demonstration to show the significance of reform and the power of transformation. My name is Kedrian Brewster. At the age of 17, I was sentenced to 10 years in the Texas Department of Criminal Justice, where I ultimately served 13 years, an extra three years. Change. While I was incarcerated, I lost my mother to a drug overdose, my 16-year-old brother. Change. I don't tell you these things as a victim, but as someone who understands the significance of change. While I was incarcerated, as stated, I lost my 16-year-old brother. There was a point in time in my life where glorifying the street life is what I thought was what we were supposed to do. I would often receive letters from my brother while incarcerated, and I would go to the rec yard to show my peers, this how we represent where I'm from, this how we do it where I'm from, only to be called to the chaplain office not even two weeks later, and my sister would tell me over the phone that my brother had been killed. Change. It was here where I was exposed and understood my influence and my leadership. It was here where I saw the need for change. Malcolm X, who happens to be one of my mentors, he has a book by Alex Haley, the autobiographer of Malcolm X, and he states, prison is second to none to college for any individual who has a lot of time on their hand and looking to transform their life. This is inmate 109-1836. They called him Lil' K. This is a deaf, dumb, blind individual. I had to kill this individual to become who you see standing before you, Kedrian Brewster. I often walk around with the tattoo on me that says R.I.P. Lil' K to remind me that I am no longer that individual. Change. Once I was released from prison, I'll never forget my sister and my wife, they came and picked me up. Everyone was happy to see me, and we was on the freeway. And the first thing I asked them was, hey, what's up on the job? They was looking at me like, slow down. You just got out, relax. My wife would go on to tell me, babe, I got enough money to pay the bills for the next six months. You can sit down and chill. I looked at her and said, chill? Babe, I've been chilling for over 13 years. I'm ready to go to work. I often explain to people the importance of employment upon being reintegrated back into society. Change. If you have zero dollars coming in, the probability of you committing a crime is extremely high. Change. Super Bowl defense. I explain to my peers, you want to be a legalized citizen, you need to have your birth certificate, social security card, your driver license. These are things that identify with you as a legal citizen. Change. Getting out of my comfort zone. I worked in a warehouse for a little while and it was great. But to get out of my comfort zone would mean I would ultimately go out to try to get my CDL license, a commercial driver license. Big reform, drastic, massive change. In one picture you will see I was a supervisor at a warehouse. It was a beautiful opportunity. It was here where the plant manager would come and tell me one day, Brewster, we want to make you a supervisor. I took it for granted. I said, it got to be a catch to this. I haven't been here long enough. I don't do nothing spectacular. I would go on to ask him, why are you making me the supervisor? He said, Brewster, you come to work every day, you're on time, and you do anything we ask you. I was waiting for a deep answer. I said, that's it? <laughs> he said, yes. Now that I'm a business owner, I understand the importance and the value of having someone that comes to work every day, that is on time, and that's going to give their job an all. I would go on from there to get my commercial driver license while I failed the first two times. I would continue to apply myself. Third try, I got my CDL license. One of the biggest, biggest things that was a dramatic change for me was leaving Dallas, Texas. The first time I had ever left outside of my neighborhood was to get on a prison bus and go to prison. I had never left outside of my neighborhood. When I chose to get in that truck and drive across the country, it exposed to me how big the world really is and just how small my neighborhood is. Change. 
I would go on to come home from OTR, which is over the road training, and I would begin to start up my own transportation service. What started out as one truck and one trailer has now, has now turned into an empire. I now use my trucking company to help individuals that are coming home from prison and reintegrating into society by giving them a skill set, showing them how to do conflict resolution. The way you would handle a problem in prison or in the streets, you cannot do that on the job site. You will lose your job. Change. The game changer is here. Me investing in myself mentally, physically, emotionally, spiritually. Me taking a chance by getting in the truck and leaving. Those were the game changers for me. It opened my mind to the possibility and the endless of opportunities that the society has for us. I'm someone who works heavily with our hip hop community. Reason being, the hip hop community is what influences and controls our community. They often display and they show all of the negativity that takes place within our hip hop community. Change, they don't show this right here. We have hip hop artists that support my nonprofit organization by allowing me to bring them individuals who have came home to prison and allowing them to see the success, allowing them to see that these are rap ly lyrics. These gentlemen have jobs, they have businesses, they have families. So you often will see them as someone who, are, who is a rapper, but that is only entertainment. Change. <clears throat> I also work with the director of Texas, Chris Carter, program supervisor Chad Wayfield. I work with RPD to try to lower the recidivism rate. I do a big prison tour, I go back into the prisons and I speak to educate, to inspire and to motivate. Change, whoever thought a kid from the ghetto would be standing now with the directors of the state of Texas. While I was incarcerated, this is a young lady that I met named Erica, who happens to be my wife now. Change. This is the young lady who displayed to me what was possible. This is the young lady who showed me that you can have a stable life. Change. In the middle, you will notice we have 18 wheelers. I have 18 wheelers as well as hot shots. I think that it was significant for my daughter to be able to see such a family portrait. That is not something that I was able to see as a child growing up, breaking generational curses. And on the end right here, you will see where me and my wife and my daughter, we took a family portrait. It is something that I feel that is very necessary for my family to be able to see our legacy, what was built, and the direction we are going in. If a person continues to do the same thing, expecting a different result, it is called insanity. Change. Thank you.